Apple recently revealed their new MacBook Pro and iMac models, and it marked their 11th year being stuck with 8 gigabytes of RAM. During the same period, iPhone went from 1 gigabyte to 8. So why is Apple being so stingy with the Mac? Well, the short answer is because they can. Apple's business strategy is to offer appealing products that trap users into their ecosystem. That way, they can avoid direct competition with other companies. That's part of the reason why Steve Jobs never wanted the Mac operating system to be licensed to third-party PC makers. It would create direct competition with Apple's hardware. Instead, if customers wanted Apple's operating system, they'd be forced to buy Apple's products. Similarly, if you're a fan of Apple's aesthetic, there aren't many other products that can compete. Take the iMac for example. Its competition are products like the HP Envy and Lenovo Idea Center. And while appearance is subjective, I think most people would prefer the iMac's look and color options. Also, consider the exclusive software features that integrate iMac with a customer's iPhone or iPad. Suddenly, buying a computer from Apple is the most appealing option, despite its high price. And that's the key. Customers don't buy Apple products for the storage or RAM, so this leaves the door open for Apple to take advantage. They save money by putting just 8 gigabytes of RAM on computers costing $13 to $1,700, something unheard of on Windows PCs. But this is just one aspect of Apple's RAM scam. The second is the cost of upgrading. If you need more RAM on your new iMac, you'll likely opt for the additional 8 or 24 gigabytes. But those upgrades are unbelievably overpriced. 24 gigabytes of RAM at the same quality Apple provides retails for about $139. And keep in mind, the wholesale price Apple pays is likely much less. So charging $400 is simply taking advantage of customers with no other options. They want to buy an iMac, but they need more than 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the only way to get it is through Apple at the time of purchase since it's not user upgradable. And that's why terms like Apple Tax became popular over the company's history. If you wanted their appealing products, you had to pay their unappealing prices. And unfortunately, that's still the case today. This is Greg with Apple Explained, and if you want to learn how I make videos like these, let me know by clicking the link in the comments.